afternoon. We are off to the track for my final technical practice before I compete on Saturday. Today is Thursday. I'm just gonna do a few approach runs, a few jumps, whatever it takes to feel good, feel confident, and just gonna hang out the rest of the night. The Airbnb that we're in doesn't have Wi-Fi, so it's kind of felt like we've been like camping because we have to do like old-fashioned things to stay entertained. Anyways, uh, we're currently addicted to the card game called Dutch Blitz, so I really just want to get this practice over with so I can go home and be Taylor at Dutch Blitz some more. won once, I've won once, and by once I mean like a series of three. So this is the real test. Okay, so Caro is just getting some treatment now from Evan. So I'm gonna go grab the car so she doesn't have to walk too far. Um, it's like, there's like no parking at Ottawa, unfortunately. So like at the track, so you have to park a little ways away. Um, yeah, so she's gonna tell you this story about like the track officials, just brutal. Just like not very organized here. Um, other than that, you might be asking yourself how I'm doing with the injury. Hamstrings feeling just like super tight, um, but I'm all right. Mentally, I'm okay. It's nice to know that I have like three or four months off to get my body right. There's no rush, so I'm just gonna relax. My coming plan for the next three or four months is to get uh, PRP or stem cell injections in my knees so I can hopefully just kind of get those figured out and not hurting. Uh, last year, even though I had like a breakout season, I still was kind of held back from my knees. Uh, they just always hurt um, when I'm sleeping, when I'm driving, like if I have them bent for too long, like they just hurt. So it's really affecting like my quality of life at this point. So at this point, like I just want them to feel better so I can drive for longer than 30 minutes without having to put on cruise control and like stretch my knees out. Um, other than that, like, I don't know, take care of some of the things at the house. Um, make some good videos for you guys. Uh, hopefully go and watch Caro at NACAC. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's the plan. It's a little update for me, because you guys haven't seen me in a couple days, but I am doing mentally okay. And yeah, they just released, uh, I'll put a link below. Um, the London Free Press did an article. It's well written, kind of sums up what happened this year. So I'm gonna link it below, go down and read it. And, uh, and yeah, I'm at the car now, so I'm gonna jump in there. Back from practice in the air conditioning, thank God because it feels like 45 outside. And practice went well. I got out of it what I wanted to get, which was kind of feeling confident, uh, just have a few good approaches, a few good um, short approach jumps. Uh, and I'm really, 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 really excited to compete on Saturday. It's gonna be perfect conditions. Um, there is a Mexican uh, here competing. Uh, she has a jump a personal best of like 14 meters so I'm really looking forward to jumping against her so I think we've talked in the vlog before about 
how important it is as an athlete to be able to roll with the punches. And today was a really good example of that because um, according to the Athletics Canada website, there was a one hour um, block today where I would be able to get on the runway and, and train and the meet is going on right now. So um, it's great that we were able to be on there at all. Um, so anyways, we obviously planned our day around, you know, being warmed up for this specific time so I can get on the runway and then I get there and I'm told that I can't be on the runway. Um, they changed some stuff around with the meet schedule, so there was pole vault going on, so they didn't want people on the runway, which is understandable, but they didn't make the change on the website, so essentially I wasn't going to be able to practice today. Um, if it was just any practice, it would be fine, but this was my last day jumping before competing on Saturday, so it was very important that I got it in. So I had to condense everything like crazy, get everything in within 10 minutes. Um, which is fine, it wasn't a problem from a physical standpoint, but it was very frustrating um, and really could have taken a toll like mentally and emotionally because it got me all worked up. Um, but you know, you just gotta be willing to, um, to work through it. And I feel like uh, our experience in Africa kind of prepared me for dealing with any situation because those training circumstances leading into the meet, far from ideal. I feel like I jumped like once in Africa before do you remember? Yeah. Um, I really did very little training in Africa leading up to the meet because like the facilities simply weren't available. So anyways, just a little spiel about some rage that I experienced today, but I got through it and had a good practice and I can't wait for Saturday. So thanks for watching. This is the last you will be hearing from us before then. Next time you watch the vlog, we gonna have some good news for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're gonna go eat pasta now. Bye. Yeah.